All right, game one, here we go. We're starting on Smashville, so uh, we've got blue team and the red team. Red team still being JLZ and the uh, hypey blue team coming in at uh, PK, Joey, and Rick. Uh, so far right now, I see a whole bunch of uncoordinated attacks just going at each other, and I'm sure there's, oh my god, as I say uncoordinated, down smash hits both of the blue team. And Ricky dies off the top from an upbeat combo that is Zero Suit Samus. Now Zero Suit Samus is offstage trying to make her way back. Fights her way on to the bear. Both players trying to regain control of the stage to try and get their offense back up from the blue team to respond for their first stop. We have a grab into fair combos trying to go into a fair but just barely missed spaces and missed times it. We've got Falcon at 100%. If Blue Team wants to take a quick stock, they should probably take Falcon, though he is at higher percents. But both of them are working their own edge guards. Now both players are on both sides of the field using the weird hitbox from the back door to hit Red Team. Wow! Will he make it back to the surfboard? Wow, Hypey barely makes it back to the surfboard after an amazing exchange that was happening off stage. Oh, beats the down dodge and gets the up B punish. That is two stocks dying to an up B from Luigi. Or from Chief. My point is, Hypey has done two of those and they've worked. Up smash out of the shield will take Hypey's first stock, but Falcon being relatively heavy will not die so early. Hypey tries to get back to help his friends. I see a bouncing fish. Reads the world back with an up smash. Good stuff from Rick. Joey is working his way off stage, trying to wake his way back. Perhaps they are doing a pincer move. I am lying, a pincer revolves. Three. Attacks? Maybe it's a scorpion that is only two attacks. I don't know. Anyway, Joey is going off stage with them back airs, trying to do something, but uh, oh, gets an unsafe side view back to stage, but Hypey does throw out the tether to save his friend. Up. Oh, that is another, that is the third up B that is Hypey has landed today, taking three stocks solely due to up B. A missed grab from Zero Suit Samus because of the tether will be a free upbeat punish from the Walking Dead Rick Grimes. Blue team trying to show some strength here with three stocks, two, three stocks. If anything, red team has a percent lead, but that does not matter. We've got Joy working some edge guards. Ooh, perhaps. Ooh, gets forward smashed of his own though. Wow, strong backer gets shoot off stage. Now she'll have to take another stock from Ricky, already at 70%. Luigi, not the heaviest character, does have to be careful though. Oh, falling there. Oh, gets gimped with the down B and hype and, and JLZ loses his stock. Ladies and gentlemen, this is an even stock count. If anything, red team still has the percent lead, but blue team looking here to take this game for themselves. We've got half a blue team off stage. The other half trying to help him out. Wow, we've got two people on the edge at the same time. Hypey trying to work his way back. Hyman trying to help him, but is being walled out by a sheep. Hypey makes his way back to center stage. A good gentleman. Oh, a down smash. Oh, Sheik is getting jabbed. Red team is at danger percents right now. Any strong hit from either of these players, and they will go flying off to the sides of the ladies and gentlemen. Luigi makes his way backstage. See what team is trying to take control of center stage. It looks like it's very back and forth. Anyone in the air? Both of red team is off stage though. Captain Falcon is on the platform on the surfboard, riding it out. Up tilt will not be enough. Tries the Raptor boost, gets greedy, gets the down throw, but there is no follow up, ladies and gentlemen. There is too much chaos for a simple down throw to. Oh, tries to get a hard read with the up B. Oh, both players are just... Oh, there's an up B from Hypey and that takes the stock. It's now down to PK, Joey, and Hypey. Both of them are at death percents. The next person to get the big hit will win, ladies and gentlemen. There's a down throw from Sheik into down B. No, Hypey jumps out in time. Rises up with a fair. Reads the down smash into the... Back throw? This I can commentate. All right, Joey trades with his forward air with the back air and Hypey takes game one. Good stuff to Team Hypey and GLZ. Red Team for taking the first game. PK Joey and uh, Rick were certainly showing signs of life as they were trying to make their comeback. It was all down to the last hit situation. Alright, ladies and gents, let's see where uh, let's see where everyone goes. Where is the counter pick? Hey Odie, watch your foot because all the outlets are right there. Counter pick, let us see where the counter pick is. Perhaps 
Lilad? Duck Hunt? Why not FG? Halberd? I like Halberd. It looks pretty. Town and City? Alright, Town and City it is. Oh, really? Alright, well, let's see who's able to get those clutch moments when they happen. Both teams starting off strong. Ladies and gentlemen, this is indeed a slobber knocker. From the red team, we have JLZ and Hypey. And from the blue team, we have the Walking Dead's very own Rick Grimes. And we've got PK Joey. Hypey trying to whip an edge guard on Luigi, but Luigi does make his way back. Oh, wow, what a combination. PK Joey gets sent off stage. Will he make it back? No, he makes it back, but at the cost of Hypey losing his first dog due to a strong backer from Luigi. Why did that work? Oh my god, that was so good. Oh my god. Oh my god, I just super crazy. Did you see that? Oh my god. I'm sorry, stream. That looks super sick. It, we are... <laughs> oh my god. Ladies and gentlemen, that will indeed go on the highlight reel. That was basically like a mess up until... Nah, I didn't really mess up. Dude, sure, that was so good. Ricky does. Anyway, we're going back into this game. We've got red team holding on the five stocks as well as blue team holding on the five stocks. All of them are reaching the red zones as far as percent, so rage and knockback will play a big role here. Rick tries to go for a hard read, ladies and gentlemen, going with an up beat, but to no avail. Instead gets hit with a back air for his troubles. Hypey tries a back air of his own, but to no avail. What happened? Oh, what a, how what an unfortunate rescue that is. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, it seems Hypey is the only one to remain alive with 114%. Tries to raise up with the neutral B. Good the up air from Falcon. I think that's what kills. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, this is a very even game. We've got three stocks for the red team, three stocks for the blue team. Control of center stage seems to be going back and forth, but for right now, it looks like red team is in a little bit of a beat. Wait, as I say that, Hypey goes off stage and tries to make his way back. Now Joey's getting double teamed. <laughs> wow, misses the jab, misses the grab again, and now Hypey loses another one of his stocks. We'll have to take one from Hyman to keep him in this game. None of blue team is at death percent though, so they will have to just rack up as much percent safely as they can, taking any percent of their own. Sheik will come back with another stock and will probably punish, but as I say that, Luigi dies off the side and we'll have to take Joey's stock. Yeah, I, that looks scary. It looks like he walked up to Joey and up smashed him. Perhaps there is, perhaps there's beef within the team. Are they both fighting over a lover? I don't know, but something is going on here, ladies and gentlemen, and red team is trying to make their way back to stage. Red team, good thing for Hypey, marking the stage. <laughs> Good thing for Hypey trying to get the ledge covered. Sheik is at death percent, but so is Captain Falcon. The first next big hit on any of these characters will decide what it is, but the back throw from Falcon will get rid of Sheik's stock. Now it is only the Walking Dead's Rick Grimes and JLZ's uh, Captain Falcon. <gasps> that up, that side, that, uh, that move almost hit the down B. Alright, let's see who will want to go in. If they know their best, Falcon should not be approaching. It should be. It should be Zosu. Oh my god. Oh my god. Was that an air? All hail the red team. All hail the red team. That was so godlike. Oh my god. That was so sick. Can't believe that. Ladies and gentlemen, it's a pleasure to be commentating this match, even though I'm fairly certain I'm doing a bad job at it. So I hope if it's not informative, I hope my voice is entertaining while you watch this match. Because clearly I cannot commentate two games at the same time. Because to me, this is two games. I'm lying. Three. It is one, two, three, four. There's, a, there's potentially six games going on. There's either a 2v2, a 1v2 both ways, or like a 2v... You know what I'm saying? Like, it's so much is going on and I just can't. I can only do so much. Alright. Huh, let's see.
Again, thank you to the Barracks for hosting this tournament on Saturday. Please like them on Facebook, STGL forward slash the Barracks. But as we say this, we're going into Battlefield. That is of game three. Will this be Red Team's final game? And will Red Team be able to close it out? Or will Blue Team start their three game comeback? Not to say the least because they are in the loser's bracket, ladies and gentlemen. That means they will have to win two sets in order to take this victory. And Red Team shows no signs of stopping. Destruction. <laughs> wow, we've got both red and blue team off stage. There was a moment of wow gets hit by the up smash. Good combinations from blue team there, keeping JLZ in the air. Good stuff for combination. JLZ looks like he just cannot hit solid ground, but as he does. It seems this blue team is trying to stay stay together as a team, but red team's giving them a run for their money. As of right now, red team has control of the center stage. Now, as I say it, blue team works their way in, but only to get comboed by the red team. Ladies and gentlemen, that was an unsafe side beyond shield, and therefore that is a free forward smash that is from Luigi. They go for the edge guard with a hypey, but then go back to Captain Falcon, decide to 2v1 him, but then they say, just kidding, hypey, I'm coming back to edge guard you. No, I'm just kidding, I'm going back to the Captain Falcon, and we're going to 2v1. What is this madness that this is smash? I have no idea what that move was, but three people go sent flying. JLZ stays on the stage saying, I don't want anything to do with that. Ricky makes his way back. Oh, there was no back air. Oh, forward smash from uh, Joey ends up taking that stock. Good stuff to him. And ladies and gentlemen, for the first time in a long time, Blue Team does have a stock lead. They have one more stock, having five stocks, as Red Team only has four. Will they be able to get rid of Luigi's stock? And as I say that, he is off stage being edge guarded. Will he be able to make it back? Yes, he does. He makes it back and still holds on to his stock for dear life, trying to get as much percent on as he can before he has to kick the bucket, ladies and gentlemen. But a strong back air will indeed seal the deal. Now the stocks are even, but the percent lead is in Blue Team's favor, if you can even call that a lead. As we say that, blue team is working a dual team edge guard on both red team. How are they going to get back to stage? It seems as by... Oh, what a fortunate SD. Hypey ends up off stage and ends up down airing to his death. Ladies and gentlemen, blue team now has an amazing lead. Wait, no, they don't. Oh. R.I.P. <laughs> now it's an even game. What is this world? Gosh, I'm trying, dude. Down throw two, up air reset. No, but now now blue team grabs their own teammate. Oh, bouncing fish combinations, but both teams are getting up in percent. This looks like a slobber knocker, folks. Good grab into up air, ladies and gentlemen. Down smash. Luigi will be edge guarded. What will red team do? No, they will go to PK Joey instead to 2v1 him while Luigi tries to get back. But as we see that Luigi makes his way back to stage, back into the fray. No, an accidental up tilt on his own teammate. Luigi, why would you up tilt your own teammate? Oh, a falling there into re grab. Good stuff by the blue team, showing perfect synergy. Oh, he waited out the air jugs but was not able to get the hitbox out there in time. As we say, as we've got blue team being edge guarded and red team holding on to the stage control as much as they can, but... What? Oh my god. Sheik is holding on to her last stock at 100%. Luigi just has a fresh one of his own, but as we say, this red team has a combination of three stocks. However, both at death percent. They both need to get rid of these stocks now. An up tilt instead of an up smash. What's wrong? Are we having jitters from the Walking Dead Rick Grimes? That's his tag, it's the Walking Dead Vic. Yeah, as we're working on to this, Captain Falcon is struggling to stay alive, but the down throw, down beat combination from Luigi will take zero suit stock. Now she has one stock left, and Captain Falcon is being edge guarded, but no more. Now he's not going to make it back, ladies and gentlemen. Wait, but there's an up air save from Hypey. Captain Falcon's still alive into this game. He refuses to go down, leaving his teammate alone into a 2v1, but this grab. Ladies and gentlemen, never mind. Captain Falcon saves if there's too much going on. Blue team trying to get center control to get rid of this Captain Falcon so they can turn into a 1v1. I mean, a 2v1. But Captain Falcon is refusing to die, knowing that his existence here is extremely important. No, but an F smash in on the turnaround ends up getting there. Now, what? Now we have. Ooh, now we've got a zero. Sam is trying to make a comeback. Ladies and gentlemen, blue team's working the edge guard. Is red team going to get back? What are they going to do? That's a free grab into forward throw.
And uh, now we've got still stuff going on. Wow, that up air pokes through. That's pretty cool. Fights his way on with the fair. Good spacing. Doesn't get punished. Continues to be good spacing. That will be. I'm trying to flex a little bit. All right, the Sheik is at death percent. If the Sheik gets a killer back here, Luigi's at 62, and then he can do something up till at the top platform. But the up air from Sheik will steal the deal. PK Joey and Rick do not go out like Busters. They take one under their belt. And now we have the counter picks from Team Blue Team. Where are my glasses? Was I wearing glasses when I came in here, Odie? I, I'm trying to figure out if I was wearing glasses when I came here. Yes, I was. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, we have Red Team. Right? Red Team? We have JLZ and Hypey on their counter pick. Will they be able to counter pick and get what they need to do to close out this set? Or do PK, Joey, and Rick show signs of life to advance this bracket even further? Ladies and gentlemen, the counter pick game is one that requires 100% mental concentration as we have PK, Joy, and Rick deciding, as we have Hypey and JLZ deciding what their last counter pick will be because they want to finish this game. But it is, ladies and gentlemen, my favorite looking stage of all the stages we have available. Three, ladies and gentlemen, we're going into game four. We have Hypey still remaining as 0-6 Simons with the red team, JLZ and Hypey. Blue team going into PK, Joey and the Walking Dead, Rick Grimes. Will this be the end for blue team or will they pull out yet another win and take this to game five? It seems as both characters have found their respective opponents and are dueling out one by one, trying to see to out better their better their 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 teammates' counterparts. And as we say that, we've got Nedra working on one side, and yet Hypey is now diverted his attention now to help in double team. Goes for an up B read, but does not get punished, but does not get it either. No. Sheik does an accidental down A in the air and will now suicide his stock. Did the Jiddish get him to him? What are these missed inputs? That is the second time that's happened today. Ladies and gentlemen, that was an up B edge guard and for some reason it worked, yet Hypey is still alive holding on to his stock at 104%. And I can't believe that works actually. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, remember the floor here is not actually a solid floor. You can jump through it for some weird reason and stand on it all at the same time. Don't ask me why I did not make this game, I only commentated. I'm lying, Odie is correcting me. Do not ask me, I did not make this game, I only tried to commentate. <laughs> and as we do this, we have landed on the on the on the deck of the hallbird itself. Oh my god. Okay, PK Joey, that was cool, but uh as of we say this right now, never mind, it's all even. There is a laser, but the laser plays no effect into it. We've got two, we've got three stocks to four. Red team with the slight advantage, looking to close out this game. Let's see if blue team can make the comeback, though. Ladies and gentlemen, that was a ton of jabs. And we've got, again, both players respectively going for their 1v1s, trying to beat their own at their counterparts. We have, they have the Walking Dead Rick Rhymes against Hypey. 
And we've got PK Joey against JLZ. Wow, what a beautiful tech from JLZ. And he refuses to die. And that's the first time she loses the stock because of it. It was too much. The tech was too cool. And she decided that she was not worthy to live from such an awesome tech. Ladies and gentlemen, don't ask me why he died. I was not paying attention. There were four people on screen. But as we say that, Red Team is put into an astounding lead. Having these four stocks come together. Combined to Blue Teams too. Well, Blue Team, this is a tough race to come back from Blue Team. But boy, what do we come back? But as we say that, we have artillery coming in the background. Artillery pays no attention. We're fine. Red team playing red. Red team playing safe, knowing that they do have the le the lead, and knowing that they only can only lose at this point. And as we say that, we have the stage transforming again, going onto the moving platform, and we're taking off, ladies and gents. Wow, that tether reaches forever. Ladies and gentlemen, as you said, Rick is getting edge guarded by Hypey and JLZ is trying to work on this PK Joy, but both are trying to hold their way. Down throw the down beat, but ladies and gentlemen, that's not correct. Does Rocking did throw up in air? No, but he throws out an up smash, but uh, what a bail. But now Sheik goes dying off the top. Now, ladies and gentlemen, there's three stocks to it is over. Good stuff. Two red team, ladies and gentlemen, Hypey and JLZ do win the grand finals of the team's tournament. My apologies for my for my commentary sounding like this. Joey is going to listen to it later and he's going to yell at me. Sorry, Joey, I just didn't know what to do. Hearts. Anyway, stream, thank you for tuning in. Uh, please make sure you like the barracks on Facebook. You can go to the Facebook search bar and search STGL the barracks. And you can find out all of their up and coming tournaments when we have. It's going to turn into a smash weekend. We've got uh, Sunday and Saturday. Saturday is going on too. Hmm? What? What are you talking about? Today? 